Hi everybody, I'm Amy Cassandra and this is Mama Mondays. This week I want to focus on, I need to word this carefully because I think I've always been one to follow rules, you know, like the really important ones, but I also think it's a little okay, like it's okay to break some of the rules, like have a little fun. Um, and that's what I want to focus on this week. I was the kind of kid that had perfect attendance for most of my school life. Uh, and whenever I was sick, I would cry. I was one of, I, okay, I really was one of these. I would start crying because I'd be like, please, mommy, I want to go to school. I don't want to miss anything. That, that's younger Amy talking. If I woke up and I didn't feel good, my mom was kind of like, hey, sweetie, you know, if you don't feel good, you don't have to go to school. It's okay. Well, you know, you'll just stay home. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. A perfect attendance for me was a huge thing. And it wasn't until, I want to say, my senior year of high school that I even thought of, you know, like, hey, if I don't feel my best, I'm not going to go to school. What's the point? One, you could get people sick. And then next thing you know, your entire government class is gone. I remember one time in 10th grade, I, my mom picked me up from school and I just felt awful. So that's another thing that could happen. You just go... <laughs> When something that could have taken a day to go away or two days, it's gonna take like three days. I felt like that was a PSA for health first all over again. Like I said, it wasn't until senior year of high school where I kind of just realized, hey, it's fine. Who cares? If I don't feel great, that's fine. And especially, I mean, we all get a case of senioritis. You know what I'm talking about. So I'll keep this a little bit secretive even though I am putting this on YouTube. But there was maybe once or twice my senior year of high school where I just didn't go to school. Just once or twice. I think it was once like in fall semester, once in spring semester. And honestly, I might be talking to people that do this, but I know that there are a lot of people out there that just wake up and I don't feel like going to school today. And that's okay. I mean, for me, two days in the entire year was like, oh, okay, I don't want to push it. Um, one of them, I, th I think it was my mom's birthday. Maybe that was in college. But um, yeah, I mean, if you have special occasions, if you're gonna go watch Harry Potter midnight premiere and you're not gonna get back till 3 a.m., you don't feel up to, you know, going to school the whole day. You know, I think the biggest thing is that if you live life, you know, following every single rule, it's like, what's the point? I'm not saying go out there, shoot people, commit crimes. I don't want you to end up in prison like in Orange is the New Black, watching that show, I know. Something that's just, you know, innocent, something simple. You'll make up the work later. It's not like you're gonna hurt anybody. Of course, if you have a lot of AP classes like I did, you know, just keep that in mind, you know what you're doing. Um, but I, I don't wanna make it sound like, go be irresponsible, do whatever you want. <laughs> the biggest thing with this is have fun, break the rules a little bit, but still be responsible, if that makes sense. Um, and I think that my mom and I, we just, we figured out the perfect combination for that my entire school life. And of course, I lost her um, my third semester of college. After that, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't go crazy. I know, I think some people think that when you end up losing a parent, either you go off the deep end, you just or you just go bonkers and Whoa, party all the time. No, no, I, I didn't do that. Uh, but I did, you know, I did enjoy life because if you spend your entire lives, you don't get more than one. If you spend your entire life following every single rule, you just, you miss out. And in the words of Ferris Bueller, here we go. <laughs> life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around for a while, you could miss it. So I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Monday and I will see you next week.